legends, you know what it is, bro? Let's talk about it. People are saying that Drake's mystery daughter has been found. I don't know if they're Kendrick Lamar fans or Drake fans, but they're saying that this mystery daughter that Kendrick Lamar said on Meet the Grounds when he did the third verse on Meet the Grounds, they're saying the daughter has been found, and her name is Eternity. Now, I'm not going to give you guys the social media information where her page is because they made the page private. I went and looked, but I do want to uh, let you guys know you know, what's going on and try to report the news as best I can while still protecting the fact that she is a little girl and we're not about to, you know what I mean, uh, set her up to be harassed. But um, this is what's going on, man. So this little girl was in J. Cole's, uh, and, and J. Cole in the Little Dirt video where they did All My Life. She was in the video wearing a Drake shirt. People were saying that this is Drake's alleged daughter. Uh, this goes back to the song Meet the Grounds when Kendrick Lamar says these lines right here. He says, you need to know that love is eternity and trumps all pain. I'll tell you who your father is. Just play this song when it rains. After many years of confusion, I don't, I don't know if I believe that, bro. Like, because honestly, from both ends, people have been saying that they're um, giving out lies the entire time, the entire, like, freestyle raps, right? So, like, who who knows who's telling the truth? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but it could be Drake's daughter at the same time, so. I feel like, it, like I don't feel like you won or lost. Honestly, I, I feel like this is Cope. Clearly, as somebody who is ghostwriting for Drake behind the scenes, he's going to be a little biased. Also, why is he going out of his way to cape for Drake? Uh, with all of this anyway. Doesn't he have his own career to, to worry about right now? With all that being said, though, uh, while he does have a point, over the years, the guy has gone out of his way to be unlikable, being more conceited and egotistical than he needs to be, throwing out sub after sub after sub, shot after shot after shot against individuals that have nothing against him, like the Megan the Stallion, Tory Lane stuff, frickin' Serena Williams, come on. And finally, Drake moved through this beef all wrong, made terrible moves, dropped IG story after IG story, embodied the voice of a dead and beloved rap icon, and frankly dropped tracks that did not play to his strengths. This is the guy who wrote back to back, and this whole thing topped off with Kendrick Lamar writing the hit of all of the diss tracks, uh, Not Like Us. How do you get out draked by a guy who's not even draped? It's Kendrick's the greatest, man. That's why. <laughs> Straight up. But I, I like that point that you made. The fact that Drake didn't really play it the right way. I always say, man, Drake doesn't... Like, he didn't take the battle as serious as Kendrick Lamar did. And that's the main reason why he lost. So, that's my opinion, but... That, that's honestly so sick. They probably use that for like movies and like, I don't know, like any type of like Alien versus Predator. Um, you know what I mean? Movies like that, though, this would work perfectly with that. Especially with like the uh, mouth uh, um, salivating, like, you know what I mean? The, the fake uh, saliva, like that's, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I don't want no one in the comments calling this thing cute. This young man, this shit is making me uncomfortable just looking at it for too long. What the hell is this? This this cat look like it, it could it can write in cursive. This humanic Yo, what? ass cat. What's the word human humanoid ass cat? This yeah. cat got goddamn mutton chops like the eighteen hundreds, like a person. <laughs> this goddamn person, like this cat looks like it, it, it's part politician. <laughs> look at this cat hell? looks like Abraham Lincoln. Look, look. Look at Honest Abe, look at him, and then look at this cat. Y'all can't tell me they don't have similar features. This cat done freed the slaves, That's weird. look at it. And I'm so <laughs> serious, I don't want none of y'all, none of y'all in the comments calling this, this, this human adorable. <laughs> Is this shit not creepy? This cat looks way too intelligent. I, this cat is probably bilingual. Shit's scaring the fuck out of me. Ain't no cat should have a jawline. That's crazy. Fuck? You should be meowing, not mewing. Get the fuck out of my face. Yo, that looks like a person's face, bro. Like, yo, that's actually pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie, man. <laughs> you ain't P, Alex. You pushing B. Are you racist? We beg and plead for you to fly us. We haven't done anything. You can't even tell me what we did. What did we do? I already did tell you. I just told you before you started filming. You 
ain't tell me nothing. He said he just told me before we started filming. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Oh, Alex, look. This is Goofy, your rapper. He verified. He said, Alex, you're not me. That means you're not player. You're not cool. <laughs> Yo, that's got to be like way before Young Thug went to jail or whatever he's dealing with, like the whole Rico charges or whatever. This is probably, that, that video is probably way before all that. In their lifetime. Apart from having good physical health, the cost is extremely high, at least $60,000, not including preliminary preparations. The mortality rate is around 2%, with over 300 bodies left on Everest becoming landmarks along the route. One famous case is known as Green Boot. This day in history, eight climbers perished on Mount Everest, setting a single-day death record. Except for the Sherpa people, no one can move freely on Everest. In the upper reaches of Everest, there are hardly any wild animals. However, it has the highest concentration of garbage on Earth, with over eight tons of waste unable to be cleared. So, please don't believe those motivational speakers' stories. Everest demands reverence. Do you aspire to climb it? Yeah, like, based off the price you have to pay, which I never knew about, I didn't know you had to spend that much money just to climb the mountain. But, like, bro, uh, like, you gotta be so fit to climb a mountain that high, man. Right? And, like, the conditions and stuff, like, there's a good chance you won't make it. Bro, like, it's moving so fast, bro. Like, if you're watching the clip, you can kind of see it like the car, the RC car or whatever it is, like, pop up and out, like, of the frame. That's how fast it's moving. Like, you can't even see it move. It's just kind of, like, appearing and disappearing and appearing, disappearing. Like, at random spots, your eyes can't really follow it. Like, that's a trip, man. Like, look, look at that. Right? You, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's like playing um, eye, eye tricks, man. Like, it's like messing with your eyes, bro. And even the even the sound, bro. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, all you gotta do is follow them up to you. Shave it off, man. Just shave, just shave it off. Just shave it off, man. Like, just shave it off, bro. Can't save that. Right, that's just, I, think you, I feel like those things are of the moment. Well, yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm a, I, I do like, I really do this, like, as far as writing goes, and it would have to be warranted, cause my, it would get, it would be scathing. The bars would be scathing. I can't really? just do it out of, I can't be the first one. You know, I'm always Indian. You wouldn't do it for sport, ever? Like, just to call someone out? Like, no, like a, like after Kendrick's thing, you wouldn't... I, I noticed you didn't really get into that too much, so... I just, like, I don't know, it, it just wasn't real to me. It's like, uh, I, I saw him after that, and it was just, like, love. So it's like, was that real, or was that just, like, for the people? You know what I mean? I like, think it's a sparring kind of sport. Yeah, but you know, at the that. same time, it's like, you know, then let it be real, then, you know? I mean, because those were harsh words, right? So it's like... Don't just, you can't just say that and then see me and be like, yeah, man, what's up? Pretending like nothing ever happened. Like, that's not real. That's not, to me, that's not like so the nature of battling. I mean, there's passion behind it. There's anger behind it, you know, and I personally enjoy making like great music and bodies of work over like being the talk of Twitter for like five days, you know, over, like coming from that situation, I w it was unexpected. You know, I wouldn't like... It's sort of like um, in working your way up and sort of building relationships. I, I wouldn't expect you to like throw all the relationships out the door for the sake of, like I said, being like the talk of the Internet for right. like, 10 days. And then, you know, it's like now this like everyone's going to forget it. But I mean, it, it's funny how uh, this conversation happened. And then like maybe like 15 years, I want to say 15 years later, we get this uh, crazy rap world war like. Yeah. How Canada Dry was created. In 1904, Toronto pharmacist John J. McLaughlin embarked on a venture that would revolutionize the beverage industry. 
Initially, McLaughlin owned a carbonated water plant supplying local soda fountains. His curiosity and chemical expertise drove him to experiment with different recipes to create a distinct type of soda. McLaughlin's breakthrough came when he perfected a formula for a pale, dry ginger ale in 1907. This new beverage was dubbed Canada Dry Pale Ginger Ale. It was a stark contrast to the sweeter ginger ales on the market, offering a crisper and more refreshing taste that appealed to a broader audience. Recognizing the potential of his unique product, McLaughlin patented his formula and began mass production. The path to success was not smooth. Early on, McLaughlin faced challenges in marketing and distribution. Still, his persistent efforts and innovative advertising strategies gradually built a loyal customer base. The product gained international fame during the Prohibition era in the United States. Canada Dry set itself apart by marketing its ginger ale as an upscale, sophisticated drink, eventually becoming synonymous with quality and refinement in the beverage world. Follow for more... That's actually pretty cool because out of all the soft drinks growing up, it was really Canada Dry that I would stick to, man. Especially when it came to like those stomach aches, bro, they help out. You know what it is, Funk Flex is on her. Everybody can't come up here, Brooklyn. <laughs> the designer. That, that camera quality is pretty crazy. Even though, like the the sound is like you know what I mean the microphone's pretty nice too. It's freaking it's freaking crazy though. Like imagine having that as a pet, man. Like so cool, bro. So cool. Holy crap! Big bag, big bag. Big bag, big bag. Yeah, my bag is loaded up with. Yeah, that's actually pretty jokes. <laughs> stores that are closing in 2024. Closing all 540 remaining stores after filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Family Dollar is closing 600 stores in the first half of the year. Party City is closing all 45 of their remaining stores. CVS is closing 900 stores by the end of the year. Foot Locker is closing a total of 400 stores in under Foot Locker, all bro. Foot Locker. Closing all 360 remaining stores after filing for bankruptcy. Christmas Tree Shops is closing all 73 of its remaining stores. Bright Aid has already closed 231 locations this year. Best Buy are closing 15 of their locations. Closing all stores as part of a shift to online retail. Closing all 371 locations makes sense considering the economy. Express closes 95 of its stores as part of its bankruptcy restructuring. Walgreens is closing 100. 50 stores by August. H&M is planning to close 240 stores globally, Whoa. closing 50 stores in 2024, and potentially more if they don't find a buyer. The discount retailer has closed all of its nearly 200 stores following its bankruptcy fight. I think, honestly, I think it's really just the stores in like malls and um, out, outdoor malls, um, like big plazas, large plazas. I think a lot of those stores, a lot of the retail stores are going to close down because most people are getting their stuff online, bro. Like, I honestly seen this from a mile away coming. You know what I mean? Like, not surprised at all, straight up. Uh, it's for the movie, Planet of the Apes, I think. Yo, this is cool though. They're not, um, they're not sticking to just uh, straight up CGI. They're actually getting the actors to like put the full out suit on and you know what I mean? Make it look as realistic as possible. More movies should definitely do this instead of like relying so heavily on CGI. You know what I mean? That looks dope though. That honestly looks sick. Oh, what is this? Did they just skip 11 days or was it a glitch in the matrix? Fifteen hundreds. I mean, they that could have been like faked out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not though. Jeez. 